How's it going, guys? All right. What do we have here? A piece of heat shield off the Apollo 11 space capsule. Oh, you need some help with that, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> That's seriously cool. Yeah. <laughs> We decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell our piece of the Apollo 11 space capsule. The least I'll take is half a million because it's from the Apollo mission. 11 years old, we need to start thinking about the college expenses. Where in the world did you get this? My great grandfather found it washed up on the beach in the Bahamas. So how does that mean it came from the Apollo 11 capsule? Well, it was the only thing at the time they were using this for. And do you know why they need a heat shield? It keeps the astronauts inside the capsule from burning up when the capsule re-enters the atmosphere. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I mean, if it's off Apollo 11, it's pretty cool. I mean, first time we landed on the moon, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Still makes my hair stand up. Let me have someone look at it, though, OK? The Apollo space program represented the best of America. And to hold anything associated with it is really cool. If it's real, we got some serious money here. So I called in my buddy Mark to see if he could help us out. That's cool. I can remember when we stepped onto the moon. Now, the heat shield part of the space program mm. was one of the most important parts. It's an aluminum honeycomb, and then this is a phenolic resin, is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And this was literally individually injected mm -hmm. in each part of the honeycomb. Wow. To be able to come up with a heat shield that could slow down the transmission of heat from tens of thousands of degrees on the outside to 70, 75 degrees on the inside it was a technological marvel. So what are your concerns? I just don't know. Is it off the Apollo 11 capsule? It is, I believe, from the Apollo program. One of the things about the heat shield on the command module is You'll never find holes like this in it. It had to be a solid piece. The other thing is there's no charring. So this is a piece that didn't make it through the atmosphere. This is not off the command module. However, I do believe that it's probably one of the test rockets. I think you've got a really wonderful piece. Well, thanks, Mark. Very good to meet you. Thank good you for bringing you. it in. Even though, no, it's not off the command module, no, it's not off Apollo 11, it's still out of that program. So he ought to be proud that he's got it. Unfortunately, I, I, I couldn't make you an offer. That's really um, kind of disappointing news, but. Still extremely cool, and I still love it. OK. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank thanks you. a lot. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.